Now then, here we are, me and the mutt, currently stood in the Langdale Valley. And if you look above my head, we've got some beautiful blue sky. The sun is even trying, but do not be fooled. This is gonna be a rough one. The weather forecast has given torrential rain, possibly a little bit of snow on the higher points. And also the wind is gonna be 80 kilometers per hour. So while we've got a weather window, we're gonna head into the mountains as far as we can, aiming towards Great End. And then we are gonna find a place to pitch a tent. I've got the Abisco Light 2 from Fjell Raven with me and I've got double poles. So at least I've got a, a fighting chance against this wind. And I've also got a new set of daisy roots on, which are made by Columbia. And they're like a winter boot with a bit of insulation in. So just gonna wear them in now before uh, the winter fully arrives. Exciting, eh? <laughs> Well, the rain has just started and I was hoping to get to camp before it really let loose. But it is definitely starting now. We are heading up here, up through that gully there, which is, uh, there's Rosset Pike on the right hand side of that and sort of the back of Bow Fell. And then just beyond that, Angletown. And that'll be a nice place just to stop. But here, there is no shelter, nothing whatsoever. So I think it's time for waterproofs. But it's relentless as this walk. It's just a constant gradient that's just an awkward one. But look at that. Flip you around, Pike of Stickle just sat there looking as beautiful as ever. <laughs> just lucky, eh? Lucky to be alive and lucky I have a body capable of actually just getting out and doing these things. And while I've got this body, I'm going to keep using it. It's nearly at the top. I'll tell you what, this is a long drag. And I'm on tired legs, so I'm definitely feeling it. Uh, and I'm probably about halfway on distance, so I'm going to get to the summit of Great End. So that might be a lot to ask for. I don't have much light left couple of hours ah, there we go just opens up a bit and the last section just to get up onto where Angletown is there we go then Angletown and this is one of two towns in the Lake District that are called Angle Town. And I made a video on the other one, and it's a beginner's guide to wild camping, so check that one out. It's actually a really nice video because it's just one of the most calm and serene places to be. So yeah, really enjoyed that one. Anyway, from here, continue down this path all the way up there, and you can see that one in the background. That is Great End, and that is where I'm aiming for. Whether I make it or not, we will see, but that is uh, 
God, it's still a bloody long way to get up there. Ah, I do like a challenge though. I do like to push myself and get this body moving. And the more you do, the fitter it gets. Well, I'm battling on. We're fully clagged in. And it's just started to rain again. I'm hoping it'll just hold off enough for me to get to the summit and then just sort the tent out. This has been a hard walk. It's this uh, weight in the backpack that's the problem. I've been thinking about ditching things all the way. Ah, nearly there. Last push to the summit. It's up there somewhere. <laughs> yes, eh? Hey. summit of great end and it is hailing so I'm going to have to get this tent up as fast as possible ah! that is horrible that is horrible rocks on the pegs all the way around and I've also got some of these delta pegs in as well ah oh dear this is great fun on great end right let's get inside and get warm because it is cold we made it we're in I've done the main thing pump the mat up just so I'm off the ground so I'm not getting cold dog's just down there on his mat and he is cleaning himself just taking all the water off him and I'm getting chilly now so I need to get stripped off get some more clothes on that are nice and dry and get the sleeping bag on just get in it horrendous out there there's been some seriously strong wind gusts and some very very heavy rain and hail I've been laid here for about 40 minutes just trying to warm up and I'm still not properly warm yet I can still feel my finger ends a couple of them just uh, still a bit numb but I'm getting there so once I'm feeling warm enough I'll get everything ready for cooking and I have got a chili con carne which I made, I don't know, a couple of weeks back, put it in the freezer and then I've carried it all the way up here so that'll be a nice one. Just to put in a pan, no messing about and I'll eat those with a load of tortillas so a nice meal. So I'm looking forward to that, I can't wait really. And I need warming up so chilli will definitely do that. It's definitely 80 km per hour winds out there. What's that equate to? Probably mid 50s, 50 mile per hour. <laughs> I'm contemplating getting my dinner on, but I'm just so snug in here. We've got my mitts on in this sleeping bag, this down jacket, and uh, just the thought of moving. 
but it's one of those things I have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. Wow, it's wild. Right, let's get this dinner on. Billy come carny! I've had a near catastrophic failure. I've uh, decanted and put um, the food into there, ready to go on there. I haven't got any way of stirring it, nor eating it. I forgot my spoons, I forgot my spork, I forgot my knife. Ah. So I'm going to just have to do the best I can. So we'll have to come up with something. See, if I had a knife, I could probably make something out of like that, you know, fashion something, but I forgot my knife. It's just one little bag that I put all my little tools in and I forgot it. So this is why you need to double check everything before you set out the door, just to make sure that you've got it all. Luckily, it's not catastrophic. You know, if it was like you forgot your tent or you forgot your sleeping bag or your sleeping mat, then yeah, that would be definite failure, but Anyway, we'll see how we get on with it. found this it's my European health insurance card which I just carry as ID but at least it'll give me something to sort of stir with Hellfire this is absolutely wild it is definitely stronger gusts than 80 kilometers an hour. I'll tell you what, I am so glad I double pulled the tent. It seems pretty sturdy thus far, but there is some hellish gusts coming through. <laughs> oh dear. Dog's happy down there though. He's not faced by things like this. Well, that's cooking and it's slightly calmer, <laughs> he says. I'm gonna have a beer. I brought one beer with me. So this is from North Brewing Co. and it is called Globe Earth. 8% and it's a double IPA. So I feel like I deserve this. I wouldn't want to be drinking any more than one, I think, just because I need to have my wits about me. Let's just flip that open. Let's have a taste. Oh, yep, nice. Oh, wow. And if I drink this as well, this is gonna make me want my food even more. So I am looking forward to that. Yeah, good. Really nice is that one. Mm. It's got quite a tang to it as well. Oh dear, what a day, eh? What a day. Some of the places I get myself into, and that's throughout my whole life. <laughs> but it's all learning experiences, isn't it? And it makes you into the person you are. So 
Everything's positive. Everything is positive. Even the bad experiences, they are positive because they are just a learning experience. So, yep. Mm. Cheers anyway. I am looking forward to this. Got some tortillas here and at least those will allow me to be able to scoop this and eat with it. Then the last bit I'll just eat with that card. Yeah, they're not bad spoons, are they? So let's just grab this. It's just cool down enough to touch. Wow, that is a good dinner. Just what you need on a cold night like this. Yep, good. I've got my beer in my boot. Just a good way of uh, keeping it upright. And the boots are a, a set of new boots for me as well. They're a winter boot from Colombia, and uh, they are—they've got the uh, reflective sort. Of, whoa! They've got like a reflective sort of heat technology. I think it's called um, Omni Heat Infinity, and it's lined with like this reflective layer. Just so it keeps your feet nice and warm in winter. I'll tell you about them in a minute. Time to delve in with this now. It'll work. Sometimes you just gotta adapt and move on. Good chilli though. I always taste better about a week later chilli. Just while it's fairly calm, I'll show you these boots. So these are made by Columbia, and they have got like a leather upper, and there's some pretty chunky rubber sections all the way around there, so this it's gonna help with the wear and tear of it, and at the back there. We've also got this, a proper pull-on loop there, where you can actually fit your finger through. A lot of them you can't, which is really annoying. They are waterproof, and I have fully tested them today. They have had an absolute pounding through every single puddle going, and there's been so many, because it's just an absolute horrendous day. So these are a winter boot, so they've got an insulation all the way through, um, which is obviously a way of keeping your feet warm. But added to that, they have got this, which is their Omni Heat technology, and it's just like hundreds and hundreds of little gold dots which reflect the heat back into your feet they do jackets in it they do um trousers and all sorts and after wearing them today i was actually really impressed because i wasn't sweating at all in them and my feet were just toasty warm and completely dry so they are classed as a winter boot though so if you look at the sole there there's some decent grips on it and they're quite a wide fit so they actually suit my fit feet really well and obviously, come the snow, that's quite nice just for bouncing through the snow. So, yeah, so far, I am quite impressed with them. And I've got to say, the comfort, I can't beat it. The only one pair of boots I've ever had better than this was um, made by Under Armour. And they were like putting clouds on my feet. They're nearly that, but not quite. But yeah, I've got to say, they are very, very comfortable. So yeah, not a bad boot at all. Come this winter, I am going to be wearing these out on the fells and um, testing them in some snow. So there we go. Columbia Expeditionist boots. Oh, and also, they can hold your beer can. Bonus. I'm gonna brave it, get out into that wild weather, just because I've got to do the life essentials. Main thing is I've got to keep dry. If I get wet, I will not recover from that. I will get so cold. So I've got to make sure that I'm going to stay dry. 
So a waterproof jacket on, waterproof bottoms on, and if it starts raining, I'm diving straight back in here regardless. So <laughs> anyway, let's get out and see what's going on out there, eh? I just got caught out then in a proper hailstorm. Look, some have come inside. Look at the size of them. They hurt when they're hitting you. Ah! <laughs> right, time to proper get ready for bed now. Shut up shop. That has tired me out. Quiet. 
hellfire. Those hailstones were mental. Getting caught outside in that then was painful. They were about eight millimeters in diameter and they were being fired at me at like 50, 60 miles per hour and there's thousands of them. So my legs then were just, honestly, that was absolute carnage. I could even feel them through this top of my uh, waterproof outer still hitting me on here. Unbelievable. So a quick escape from the outside into here and now I feel safe again. It would be awful to get caught outside walking with something like that happening, especially if you're in open ground with nothing to protect you or shelter you. Oh. Anyway, it has been an epic night. I am uh, thoroughly enjoying it. And I was planning on staying out for two nights, but things are getting a little bit wet and um, I just don't think that's gonna be the case now. So I'll be heading back to the car tomorrow, I think. Just awesome though, absolutely awesome. Anyway, time to lay this log. We'll see you in the morning. Morning flowers. Well, we're currently in the summit shelter just hiding out of the weather because it is still wild out there. It has dropped considerably from last night but still not a place to be messing about. Those hailstones were incredible. I would not want to get caught out in those because that would have been a nightmare. Luckily we only had 10 seconds to endure the pain of it but um, yeah that was tough. Anyway we need to get back in that tent and get warm, have our breakfast, brush our teeth pack everything away and then when we are ready we'll get out and pack that tent away and skedaddle off this mountain are you ready then blue yeah cool then get on Well, this is going to be fun. Eating some granola with no spoon. And I carried this full milk all this way, so I'm going to have to have it. A new invention. It's called the flat spoon. I think it'll take off.
Right, we are packed up, ready to go. Blue has been waiting patiently, but he is used to this. He knows exactly what's happening. So the wind has picked up and it's gonna be tougher getting this tent away now, but we just have to get on with it.